everyone. I know there are several new Zoom links that our students have to go to in trimester two. One way to help your child get to the right Zoom meeting on an iPad is to create bookmarks on a web browser like Safari or Chrome. Let me show you how. Your child's teacher will most likely put all the Zoom links in Seesaw or Google Classroom. So I'm gonna to go to Seesaw and if I open that up, what I wanna do is copy the Zoom link. I don't wanna launch it, so if I tap on it, it'll probably take me right to the Zoom link, um, to the Zoom meeting, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna tap, like in the white space, here's an example of it launching, which I don't want it to do. So I'm gonna leave, come back, and we'll try again. So I think if I tap like below it maybe, there we go. And now you can see part of it's highlighted. So I'm gonna grab one of the handles, which is that little blue circle, and I'm gonna drag it up to highlight the entire link. Now I'm gonna select copy. I'm gonna press the home button, launch Safari, and this is where I'm going to tap in that URL or address bar at the top. And if you want, you can delete it. Don't really have to, because it's all highlighted, but I'll just delete it. And now I'm gonna tap in there and click paste. All right, so now it's in there and then I can tap go. Now, even though it doesn't look like all those letters and numbers for the link, it's really embedded in there. So now what I'm going to do is press the share button, which is the square with the arrow pointing up. And then you'll see the choice of add bookmark, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on add bookmark. From here, I can change the title just to make it easier. And I'm just going to maybe, this, in this case, my example was HNN. So I'm gonna put down HNN Zoom. I should capitalize that. All right, now I'm gonna click Save. Now I'm gonna go back to Seesaw and now I'm going to copy the Spanish Zoom link, same thing. I'm gonna highlight the entire link and get it here. I'm going to click Copy, press the Home key, go back to Safari, tap in the URL, delete out the old one, tap again, click Paste, tap Go, click the Share, and now I'm gonna tap add bookmark at the bottom. And now I'm going to rename that Spanish. And I'm gonna click done or save. Now to see the bookmarks, you're gonna tap on this, it looks like a book to the left of the URL and it's right there. And now you will see Spanish Zoom, HNN Zoom. So all your child needs to do when it's time is launch Safari. And if it's time to go to Spanish, you're gonna tap that Zoom link, click Launch Meeting, and open it. And there we are waiting to, for Senora Martino to start the meeting. If it's then time to go to a different Zoom, let's pretend it was HNN. Same thing, launch meeting, open it, and you can see once again, the, waiting for the host to start this meeting. All right, so hopefully that's helpful in helping your child get to the right Zoom link. Now I'm on my laptop. I'm going to show you how to bookmark on Chrome and Safari from a laptop. So I am right now in Chrome and I'm in Seesaw. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click a link and I don't want to open Zoom. So I'm going to click cancel and here's the link. And then on the right, you'll see a star. Click on it and then I can rename this. This was the H&M Zoom and it'll, it will save to the bookmarks bar and I'll click done. Then I'll go back to Spanish, click on it. Once again, cancel. 
click on the star, rename it, click done, and you'll just continue. Write down the list of links, and this was music, and done. Now here are the links. H&N, Spanish, and Music, and the other place you can look for it is at the top where it says Chrome, there's a Bookmarks menu, and you can also access it from Bookmarks. Now, if you don't see the Bookmarks bar, then up by Chrome, there's a menu called View, and you can toggle it off and on. So if you do not see the Bookmarks bar, go up to View, click on Always Show Bookmarks bar, and then you will see it. Now, once your child is ready to go to a particular Zoom, let's say it's H&N, I'll click on it. This is where you're going to click Launch Meeting and open Zoom US, and then you're in the waiting room. Let's create bookmarks in Safari. So I'm in Safari, I'll go to Seesaw, go to the Links page, I'm going to click on the first Zoom link that I want to bookmark. I'm going to click Cancel. I don't want to go to the meeting yet. And at the top, I'm going to go all the way to the right to the Share button. I'm going to click it, select Add Bookmark, and notice that it's going to be added to my favorites. Here is where you can rename, and then click Add. Then go back to Seesaw, go get the next link. This time I'll select Music. Click Cancel. Go up to the Share. Add Bookmark. Rename. And click Add. And then you'll do the same steps for each of the Zoom links that you want to bookmark. When you are done, to find the bookmarks, you will click on this little button here and it will show you the sidebar if it's not already visible. And here are your links and here's the favorites. Now, if you want, at the top there's a menu next to Safari, go over to History Bookmarks, and here you will also see favorites and also the books mark, bookmarks that you created. So either way, you can always launch um, the Zooms from any of these bookmarks. Now, when it's time to go to the Zoom, you would just click it launch the meeting, click allow, and then you're in the waiting room. Now the other thing I wanted to show you before we end here is that if you want to delete the bookmarks, let's say you don't need them anymore, or if you forgot to rename them, then all you have to do is either right click or on a Mac, press the control key while clicking, or if you have a trackpad, put two fingers down, and then I like to click with the third finger, being my thumb, and it will open up this menu, and then you can rename or you can delete from here. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope to see you soon.